Hi, it's Abby Dyer Eminette, female entrepreneur and success strategist. Welcome to another episode of the Lead with Positivity podcast, where every week we have female entrepreneurs that are doing really big things in their communities and putting their big ideas into action. Today, I wanted to welcome Cindy Van Arnhem, and we're going to jump right in. Just tell us a little bit about you and your business. Mm. I am a master numerologist, universal laws certified coach, and facilitator of mastering the, mastering the brain game. I wear many hats, but really what I'm focused on is leading entrepreneurs to unity consciousness so that we can start doing business differently by understanding our own personal power and how amazing we really are as humans. Oh, there is so much there I want to unpack. <laughs> um, so we will definitely get into... Um, a little bit more about those details. But as we start, tell us a little bit about what motivated you to start your business. Yeah, well, it really starts from when I was a kid. I grew up on a farm and my dad passed away when I was 16 and it tore my whole life apart. And from there, I made a series of really poor decisions. You name the bad decision, Cindy probably made it. <laughs> But my whole life, I could never hold a job for more than a year. I was just, a, I constantly felt I could do it better or I was bored. There was always something and I never could really land into what it was, but I just had a really hard time committing to that long-term commitment of a job. And then I started really discovering who I am and how I want to show up in the world. And it was obvious that I was my own boss and that I wanted to come from a place of being able to do what I want when I want, but still being of service to the planet. And so, yeah, it was, it was a long journey, <laughs> but definitely I was born to be an entrepreneur. Okay. Very nice. So who has brought you the greatest inspiration and why? Mm -hmm. Well, my now business partner who started off as my mentor, her name is Joy Kingsborough. She gave me hope. She didn't tell me what to do. She didn't point me in different directions. She didn't give me strategy. She just showed me who I was. Wow. So hope is one of my favorite words. Mm -hmm. um, it is definitely something that I have felt all of us just coming from the last year um, or, or two now, um, going through COVID and all the many things that, that the planet has been going through, uh, has been incredibly powerful and people have really needed it. Tell me a little bit about one of the biggest challenges you struggled with in your business over the last year or two. To be honest, in the last year or two, I have not had any challenges in my business. Um, it's, and it be it's because I did the work before, before all this happened, right? So I am a firm believer that everything in our material reality is a direct result of the inner work of creating that material reality within ourselves first. And I started doing that prior to all of this happening. And when this happened, uh, my business took off and I started thriving because I'd done the work prior to. It wasn't like some magical thing, but I was very focused prior to that on the material world instead of the inner world. So three years ago, I had a lot of problems in my business. <laughs> well, the, the good news is you learned a lot from, yes. from those things to, to get you where you are now. So tell me one of your biggest wins as a female entrepreneur. Mm. Being able to see the impact that we can create simply by being a mirror to other women entrepreneurs to show and being able to see a female entrepreneur rise up and say, I can do this too. And watching those other female entrepreneurs being successful and going out and creating that ripple effect of impact. To me, that's just everything. Absolutely. I love that. I love the, the opportunity that we give others um, as uh, many of us as coaches. Uh, so tell me a little bit more about your business uh, mm -hmm. and how you run your programs and what type of women you serve. Yeah, well, we work with men and women, um, mostly women, though, we find that women are more open to this kind of work because we are very much in the spiritual realm. Um, I started off my business as a virtual assistant and quickly realized how I was chasing the money and quickly realized how uh, far out of alignment I was just because I was good with technology and being behind the scenes. 
um, when I got my first numerology reading from Joy, it, everything about my chart said, you need to be a speaker, you need to be in front of the scenes, you need to be on stage, This like you have this personality. And because I was behind the scenes and I was shy, and if you can imagine that I was shy, and I didn't want to be out front, but then as soon as I got the reading, it was like my soul remembered oh yeah, that is who I am. And so I leaned into the possibility that that could be true and started doing video. And then pretty soon I had done a Facebook Live every single weekday for three years straight. And now you put a video camera in front of my face. I'm like, hi, I'll talk to you. <laughs> I'm not shy. But it really started from understanding who I was through the numerology. That numerology just showed me the blueprint of my personality and what was possible for me. And then from there, I had to do a lot of extra work around mindset. And so I took Joy's course called Mastering the Brain Game, which is a 10-week transformational journey based on the law of divine timing. And it completely shifted how I looked at the world. It helped me to understand not spiritual woo-woo stuff, because I'm not into that, but the science behind how our brain and our emotions operate within our body. And it helped me to understand how much power we actually have available to us when we are actually paying attention to our emotions. And then from there, I learned universal laws and just deep dived. And now, yeah, there's so many things I could go off on a complete tangent for you. <laughs> well, <laughs> self-awareness is incredibly important. Yeah. And it sounds like you Everything. have been on a journey and an evolution. How do you now use that in order to help women and men in their journeys? Yeah, I'm really, my biggest passion is mastering the brain game. I became a facilitator of mastering the brain game three years ago. I've taught it over a hundred times. It's something that I want to see in the hands and homes of 8 billion lives. I, I believe every human on the planet needs to understand how this works. And so right now I'm on a mission to get that into the hands and homes of 8 billion people. And so I actually teach the teachers. My job is to train brain game facilitators to go out and move this information out into the world. So I work with coaches and healers. I often provide uh, numerology blueprints and I do readings for people, which will then lead them either, either into becoming a numerologist themselves or understanding that this pathway of brain game is for them. And then we lead them through a six month journey on becoming a certified brain game facilitator. Wow. So what do you think people, the biggest takeaway is when people go through that program? Oh man, to limit it to one. Um, I think for me is people see themselves for who they are and the judgment stops, the criticism stops, the seeking answers outside of yourself stops, the inner critic stops. The, that voice in my head is always positive and happy now, whereas before it used to beat the crap out of me. And I think to me, that's the biggest shift, whether you're an entrepreneur or not, to have that inner critic be nice was a huge shift. That is a big deal. That is a big yeah. deal. When, when we often talk about mindset, there are just so many kind of external factors. And often as women, especially that we deal with kind of negative negativity from um, social constraints or public opinion or the media, or we are constantly beating ourselves up. So I can see how that is an incredibly powerful um, opportunity that you work on, you work on with folks. Now you talked a little bit about getting really comfortable doing video. Yeah. I know a lot of people listening to this will not be comfortable right? That is a, a challenge for folks. It's kind of stepping out and becoming visible. Any yeah. tips around that that you would offer folks? Mm. Well, first and foremost, visibility comes from a deep desire to do what you want, no matter what anybody else will think. And so for me, it's first about the vision of what do you want to experience in your business and how do you want to experience that? It may or may not include video, but if it does, then it's all about doing the inner work and coming into the place of 
bringing your mind, the intention of the mind into the space of the heart and allowing your heart to just expand that without having to figure out how, or what am I going to do? Or what are people going to think? It's not about that. You need to love your vision so much that you would do it. Even if you had haters left, right, and center. And then when you get to that place, that's when you get visible because you won't care what people think. You won't care. You'll just go and do a Facebook live and you'll be like, well, that was awkward, but it's okay. I love myself anyway. And believe me, the first video you do will be really awkward. Absolutely. And I do believe that if you feel really passionate about what you have to offer the world and to help the world, the problem that you want to solve, then you step past that, right? Because in many cases, in order to do that, you have to be seen, um, yeah. especially in our new kind of more online online world. Yeah, and it's, so, the same, it's the same with sales. It's the same with anything that you're doing in your business, being visible, putting yourself out there and making offers. You need to believe in your offer more than you expect other people to believe in it. And when you show up at that frequency, people are like, take my money. Like It's just a no brainer. But if you're showing up with any sort of doubt or insecurity or what might people think, they're going to feel that and it'll be hit and miss. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great, great insight there. Tell me a little bit how you define a success mindset. Well, success is different to everybody. So I think first and foremost, deciding what success means to you. For some people, success is the mansion and the 32 cars. And for some people, success is having a cabin in the woods and being off the grid for half the half the year. So I think first and foremost, figuring out who are you, what do you want, why do you want it, and then build from there. Absolutely. How about for you? How do you define it? Mm -hmm. Success for me is being able to wake up every morning loving what I do, looking at my calendar and going, I get to do that and never being in a place. And yeah, there's stuff in my business that I have to do that I'm like, I'm, I'm not in love with that, but there's still that passion behind it. I know why I'm doing it. And so I'm more willing to go explore and be open and curious Success to me is about adventure, about incredible wealth, about experiencing life to its absolute fullest, full of play, full of love, full of money, all the things, all of it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I know I often find in talking to clients that we talk a lot about the fun and the joy and ensuring that that is really what's in your life, right? That that is driving everything that you do because it's so easy to lose that um, with, with some of the obligations and stress that comes along with um, especially uh, high pressure sorts of jobs, mm -hmm. right? So considering what you do and how you help others, uh, how do you stay motivated? Are there any tips that you would give folks about how you tips, tricks, tools? Yeah, for me, it, it always comes back to that vision of tapping into that vision every single day. Why am I doing this? What is the purpose behind this? And even just talking about it now, my whole body's covered in goosebumps because I know exactly why. And I'm tapped into that all day long. And so even when I look at my calendar, I'm like, oh, I got to do that thing. I'm like, yeah, I get to do that thing. I can't believe I get paid for this. And it's just this constant, like, there is a motivation to me feels like forcing yourself to do something. Whereas the vision just lights you up from the inside where you can't help, but go express it. So your advice would be for people to find their vision. Yeah. Right. Find that thing that, that lights yeah. them up. Yeah, that's to me, that's the three keys to success. Know who you are, know what you want, know why you want it. Everything else will figure itself out. Absolutely will all fall into place. It will. It does. I always say, you know, how is the biggest dream killer? If you're trying to figure out how to build an online business, you started in the wrong place because I trust me, I speak from experience, been there, done that. Your job is to figure out who you are in the marketplace, what you want and why you want it. And just feel that every single day. And you will jump out of bed every morning, like so excited to do the things. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. How about 
one last piece of advice that you would give other female entrepreneurs? Mm, Really understand the power that you have available to you. I think for female entrepreneurs, especially, we're always comparing ourselves to other people and we, we don't look at ourselves. The more you love yourself, the more you explore who you are, the more you spend time loving the crap out of yourself, the easier it gets. And that inner critic, that voice starts telling you lovely things about yourself instead of mean things. And the moment that happens, you can have everything you want. So if I could give any advice to anybody, whether you're an entrepreneur or not, love the crap out of yourself. All right. (laughs) <laughs> Very nice. So Cindy, thank you so much for, you. for being here. Uh, and thanks everyone for joining us uh, on another episode of the Lead with Positivity podcast, where incredible women are coming to talk about the big things that they're doing in their communities and telling their stories as only they can. Uh, if you liked this, please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.